river in England walked. Now, where's the Iron Bridge? Come on, mate. Oh, thanks. Don't mind if I do. You can always rely on the good old British bus. That's if it's not late, you're not in a hurry, or if it turns up at all. Indeed, out in the countryside, buses can be more rare than a state tartare. And in the last 10 years, services to rural areas have declined by 30%. And that's because each year there are fewer passengers, whilst the costs of running and maintaining expensive bus fleets soar. But here in Telford, they tell a very different story. Bus business is booming. And what's more, it's unusually reliable. Reliability depends on keeping as many buses as possible on the road. This company's secret is here at the depot. As each bus returns, it's refuelled. But there's an extra connection linked to a computer, which identifies the vehicle and measures the mileage, oil, water levels and electric circuits. The blue light means the oil level is low. Well, that's really neat and certainly very quick, but every bus inspector has a recurring nightmare. The telephone call to say that one of his buses has broken down in the middle of nowhere and all the passengers are stranded. Well, linked to that same computer is another system which should allow him to sleep more soundly, because it can see right inside the engine and predict those potential disasters long before they can happen. The test only takes 20 seconds, and the unit tells the engineer exactly what steps to take. It takes information from six sensors, one in each of the cylinders inside the engine, and transfers it to the computer. Today's data is added to previous day's results, and the comparisons can instantly tell an engineer whether this bus is heading for trouble. This printout shows the engineer a comparison of the pressures inside each of the six cylinders and also the amount of power each one is producing relative to each other. And here you can see that cylinder six is losing power over successive working days. It starts off at about 77% efficient and then goes down and down. Now to a skilled engineer that would suggest that the fuel pump needs replacing. Now on the whole, engineers are not the most easily excitable people, but they got positively agitated about these figures, because they didn't realise that you can anticipate one of those nightmare breakdowns just from a set of numbers. And here you can see a piston ring failing. It starts off down here at about 90% efficient and drops over the days to just 36% when it was replaced. Now this is what a piston looks like when it's brand new, and there you can see the piston rings around it. And this is what it looks like if you don't get to it in time. And there you can see clearly how the piston rings have eaten away at the piston wall and causing more than £4,000 worth of damage to the engine. And there are even bigger savings to be made on a regular basis. A major overhaul to check the condition of the engine can keep a bus off the road for five days. Now those expensive jobs are only done when the computer picks up a problem. So, a quick regular maintenance is enough to keep this fleet efficient and out on the road. Well, there's one set of passengers who aren't happy about more efficient buses. This lot no longer have the excuse that the bus was late. You got anywhere near Shepherd's Bush? Sorry, mate, reeking. 